Hi, I'm Edwin Michael, and I come originally from a little village, or just outside a little village called Upperlands. Uh, I'm married to Margaret. Uh, we have two grown-up kids. Laura's um, 27. Ryan is 23. I've been in the Elam ministry for 28 years, and um, currently serving as Irish superintendent. In your majesty Pastimes, uh, I play a little bit of golf, don't get as much time for that as, uh, as I used to. Um, do a little bit of flying at model aeroplanes, I just find it very relaxing, it sort of brings your mind down from all the activity of things in ministry. And uh, like to spend time at home, it's nice to, to retreat from all the busyness of life and, uh, and just be at home and be able to relax and do a bit of reading. I have a love for Israel, I love to take people out there and even though that may seem like work, I find it very relaxing whenever we take trips out there and I enjoy the fellowship and the, the opportunity for people to experience that while. I'm a Man United supporter and uh, really looking forward to the new season with the new manager. I believe it'll still take a little bit of time to, to get it where he wants it to go. But uh, we're excited about being under his leadership uh, in the days that lie ahead. Um, about 34 years ago, we had a, an amazing thing happened in our family. My oldest brother became a Christian and he prayed for the rest of us. And uh, God spoke to him prophetically and told him he would, he would move through our family. And in a very short space of time, about three months, a period of three months, there were about 16 people who came to know the Lord. Um, it was a very exciting time. I went from a life of, I had been singing around pubs and clubs from a very young age, early, early teens. Uh, a complete transformation, suddenly God was real. And we came into the Pentecostal experience. It was very, very, very exciting. And about three or four years after I became a Christian, I began to sense something of a call of God in my life began to explore the possibilities of Bible college and then God confirmed that call very clearly uh, through a, a prophetic word from a person that I'd never actually met in my life before. It was so precise, it was quite an astounding time for me. And we went off to Bible college in 1983, um, the Elam Bible College, it was in Capel, Surrey at that time, finished in 86 and came into the ministry then. Yeah, uh, when I finished in Bible College, um, I came back to Ireland. Uh, Eric McComb was the Irish superintendent at that time, and I received a phone call and he said I was going to Market Hill. And I went to Market Hill and ministered there for just over a couple of years. Um, we saw some growth, so we saw some movement in the church, we saw some people come to know the Lord. And it was about around about uh, that time, which would have been about 88, 1988, uh, I was approached if I would go as an assistant to Portadown. And I moved across to Porta Down, and I didn't know at that time that I would be uh, spending the next almost 22 years in the church there in Porta Down. I went in as assistant with charge for youth, and uh, moved on from that to associate minister, and then eventually uh, led the church for four and a half, five years uh, after the retirement of Bob McMullen, the previous senior minister. Those were very exciting years, challenging years. We faced many challenges but very, very exciting in that we, we saw the church grow. Uh, over all of those years, we saw many, many people come to the Lord, just saw what the grace of God could do in really transforming lives. Very exciting. And uh, then just over three years ago, um, at Irish conference, a vote was taken. When my name was up, I was nominated for Irish superintendent, so I took over that role three and a half years ago. And uh, that has been a complete change, a completely different style of ministry. Um, some very exciting things about it, some things you miss about local church and pastoral life, but that's the place I'm at at the moment, that's this season in my life, and that's the challenge that God has put before me at this time. Obviously stepping into a role like Irish Superintendent has, has a lot of challenges with it. Uh, I mean, I've known Elam for all of those years, I've ministered in it. Uh, but when you, you step into to this role, you begin to see the movement in a different way. You have the opportunity of visiting all the churches. You begin to get a, an overall picture of where the movement might be at and the sense of what God may be doing. That's very, very exciting. But it takes 
probably a couple of years at the start of the rule to really begin to get to grips with that. Um, as many people will know, next year Elam will be celebrating its centenary. We're 100 years old next year. Um, and to be honest, we have picked up many of the traits of any denomination which is 100 years old or which has 100 years of history. I thank God for what we've achieved in the past. We want to honour the past and all that has been done. Uh, thank God for the strong base of churches which we have on, uh, in the, the northeast of the island uh, of Ireland. Thank God for you know the, the property situation, the financial position that the movement finds itself in, and I pay tribute to all the work that has been done by leaders of the past and Pastor Eric McComb. Uh, but we are predominantly strong in the northeast of the island, and my heart has really been burdened that we would begin to rediscover um, Elam's pioneering roots. You know the, the the pioneer spirit that we were birthed with, the desire to to evangelise the island of Ireland, which was the original intention of the Elam Evangelistic Band. And so we, we have a vision to look to the west and to the south of the island that we would really begin to move out again, that we would see new churches planted and see many people uh, come to know the Lord. Really, we thank God for the strong base we have in the northeast, but we need to break out of that and we need to be willing to step out and see where God will lead us. We're living in a new day politically in the island. Um, and we are beginning to look at the island more holistically in terms of evangelising the whole island. It's very exciting. Uh, it means maybe changing some mindsets, some of the ways that we think. But there's an excitement and there's a stirring towards that which I believe is a confirmation that God is doing something uh, in the lives of leaders within our movement at this time. And we're excited about where that's going to take us uh, in the coming months and in the coming years.